morning is pretty raining, you know, terrible weather, so I choose a skinny latte, just also to look after my skin folds. Uh, being injury is being tough, and I'm trying to avoid everything with sugar. Well, uh, I got, like you say, I mean, injury from January 2014. 2nd of January, I got the injury than my operation 15 so today i am in my seventh week after up um, it's been great thanks god that the money reacts in really good form i'm in track kind of positive mind you know um and my knee is is handle 90 kilo leg press so it's been great i'm i'm not ready to yet to to run yet but I will, I will soon, so I'm looking forward to do it. Yeah, uh, the last two months has been, it's been really tough and um, I'm doing kind of a lot of exercises in the, in, in the gym, uh, core power, a um, lot of legs and hamstrings exercises. Uh, uh, being, being pretty honest, I'm I never used to like to do gym in my life. Um, now I have to, and I'm working a lot. I'm, I might have in six months time the best sit-ups and I'm, I'm, I'm arms of, of the coast because I'm training push-ups and sit-ups every day. So I might challenge one of the most strong boys in the change room. Uh, uh, so. It's been and in and also I'm I'm working in the aspects about to be strong in my head, you know, to be really positive. So this injury taught me lots of things. Of course, I rather to be healthy, but that injury happened for a reason, and it's teaching me from every side, you know, from every aspect in my in my life. Well, uh, the support I I received from from the club and and also from Nilum and and Paul. The staff, the medical staff, is being great. Uh, it's been awesome for me to be looking after. They looking after me in in and off training, you know. Um, so we, we we do a lot of work in in, in his clinic as well. Um, it's been morning and afternoons, you know, and um, I feel really really as. Protected, you know. I feel protect for them, and, and and they've been great for me every day, and also for my knee. You know, it's the most important. Well, as you know, I'm I'm in love with with football uh, badly, um, and that injury uh, made me realize something really important. I mean, I used to I used to talk all the time in interviews about love for the game and love for football. Um, um, and the first three weeks after my operation, the, I couldn't couldn't move my leg proper. Uh, one day I want to tell you one short story. I went to soccer fives and they were playing amateur football. There I was watching, and then when I was walking, I found a soccer ball, um, and I went to touch it. But then I realized when I stepped on the, on the ball, I realized I couldn't move. Uh, so comes out my first tears, you know, I start crying um, because for the first time I, I, I realized that I, couldn't, I was avail unavailable to, to enjoy the ball because to be honest, I enjoy playing for Mariners but when, when I am off the pitch on the beach or in the park with my dogs, I'm, I just love to kick the ball even there, you know, um, um, yeah, it was pretty sad but at the same time, uh, I call my family and tell them that I cry, you know, and they were worried a little bit, but I said to them that they, that they don't need to be worried, it's something beautiful, because actually what I say every day is happen, you know, um, I seen the ball and I cry, just only the reason why I cry is because I couldn't, I couldn't play football, I couldn't touch the ball even when I'm in my house, you know, so that was pretty, pretty emotional. And, and that is why I miss what I miss. I miss the soccer ball, man. I miss my teammates. I miss, I miss Blue Tan. But the most important thing, the, I miss that contact with myself with the ball. Well, the boys have been in, in, 
in the tough run right now. Um, the last few rounds has been has been difficult for all of us. Uh, uh, in my opinion, in my opinion, that I'm not capable to play. I'm not. I'm. I'm not capable to help them. Um, I've seen the things, you know, as as a teammate, and it's been really painful for me to to look them in in pain. Uh, what I think they that we need to do is to give our 110 percent as individuals. Um, I told them that if they give their best um, as individuals and everyone do their job, we're gonna we're gonna subside, we're gonna su uh, su survive as a, as a team because Mariners always is car uh, is always their characteristic is to be strong and fight the spirit, you know. Um, and if we do our new faces, we have new faces, and we've been living in a new transition. Uh, if we do our je our best in as individuals, we're gonna survive. I'm I'm 100% sure. I believe in my teammates. The advice for the for Tigers, Wyoming, is that I will I will go to visit them soon. I promise that I will I will be there watching their kids and. I'm trying to talk to them. Uh, my advice to the young ages, you know, in between five to twelve, is to enjoy the game, is to have fun every time, and and try to 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 love the game the way I do. And to the kids who have 14 to to 20, uh, keep believing that it's possible. Don't don't believe in rejections. Um, keep moving forward. You are good enough. Um, I will wait for you. We might play together one day. Well, we we've been working with with Benny, is the media manager. Um, he's been great uh, in this club. Um, and one day having the coffee, we thought about it to to and to build talks about football. Um, uh, I will I will. Invite few teammates to share experience, the how we become a soccer players, why do I love football, and how that happened. You know, I would love to send the message across to every kid in the coast, regardless the club. You know, uh, tell them the 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 thing drive me to do what I do every day is the love for the game, is the love for the soccer ball. Um, we organizing one talk for an hour, you know, with videos of my youth when when I was playing Argentina, and also the way my dad introduced me to the game, how my dad taught me to love the game. Uh, I would love to share this passion with every person in the coast, to these parents who has kids, um, they dreaming, who, who dreaming to become a soccer player. I won't tell them face to face that it is possible. They, they don't need. We're gonna touch important lines in, in this hour talk about rejection, about dreams, about um, love for the game. But the most important thing, the in my opinion, in my perspective, is important to share is that the whatever you do in life we need to try to do what we love and that is the key to to be happy and i just wish to people happiness i wish to i wish to people to be available to recognize their passion regardless of discipline in the sport um if tomorrow they dream to become a doctor or become or become journalists i wish to them to recognize the passion and go for it and um, that is the kind of so we want to be available to to offer to the people in the coast and I'm, I'm looking really forward I think it's gonna be a really emotional hour um, um, I will learn from them I will learn from every person who comes and we're gonna talk for an hour but later a post talk I will sit and if I need to be two hours answering questions with people I will do it so we're looking forward to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy because it's something that I really believe. It's my philosophy of the game. I really love the ball and I will share this passion with the kids.
I'm, I'm, I'm being available to have more spare time now of my injury. Um, it's something that, that I'm always being available to connect with fans. Um, whatever I need to do, you know, to play the guitar with Billy, I'm, I'm talking about funny things with Bears FC. It's been great, great experience for me. Um, also, the, I'm considered to, to be always in touch with football. Um, um, always I enjoy to express myself, uh, even with the difficult, how difficult it is to me to speak English, it's my second language. Um, even in Spanish, when I, when I grew up, always I've been this kind of person who loves to express himself and express the feelings towards the fans, uh, being natural and, and honest with, with them. Uh, something that I would consider to, to do as a career, but also I would love to coach. I would love to be to study, to be the coach, to, to teach kids how to play football, but also I would love to, my dream is to become a, a professional professional coach, you know, uh, and that's something I'm looking forward Thank you very much and thanks, thanks Gloria Jeans for, for your skill at it.